Hey, it's Lauren. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to do my makeup right now, and I'm going to be using this guy that I, I think I've talked about a couple times, put in a haul, and it is the Rowan Beauty 52 Cool Eyeshadow Palette. Really been loving this, so I want to do a look with this guy, and I picked up a couple things from that launch. If you're not familiar, it's a new brand that launched from... Nikki DeRoast, she is a, a makeup artist, a celebrity makeup artist. She just did such a beautiful look on Emma Roberts for the Met Gala. It was all with Shantakai products, and I think she used one of Shantakai's blushes on her eyes. It was like this whole pink look, super pretty. Anyways, she launched this beauty line that uh, was just right up my alley. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready and use some, some stuff and just talk and stuff. So I'm gonna use for under my base, I'm gonna use the Milani Soft Focus Glow. This has such a pretty, plumping, glowy look. Not that I need to really add <laughs> uh, more like glow to my face since I'm pretty sweaty right now. I am so scared for the summertime. I'm gonna use the Clarins Foundation. Uh, I have 102.5 porcelain. I'm just gonna use my hands to do that. To fix them on. Really just the most inelegant <laughs> depositing of it on my face. So I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Concealer that's a little bit too light for me. I do have a bunch of little like spots and redness right now that just need a little extra attention. So yeah, you can tell it's like way too light. So to combat that, um, this is something I saw like a makeup artist do. Just to just like marriage the concealer and the foundation together in general, but also if it's like something is like too light in one direction. So I'm just gonna like dot a tiny bit of the foundation next to it and then I can work them in together. I'm putting on some of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter under my eye area as well because I am going to be using the kind of like cool toned steely blue shade in this palette and since I have a bit of color under my eyes I really want to like make sure it looks bright so that doesn't bring forward <laughs> the tiredness that's there already. I'm gonna set some of this with a little bit of powder and I'll do my eyebrows and switch out my battery because my battery like dies after 15 minutes of recording. And um, I'll be back to uh, do, do the blue steely gunmetal eye look. The last time I did a get ready with me, I had like razored off the majority of this eyebrow. So some of it is back and this eyebrow, it has a million issues. But anyways, okay, so I'm gonna do a look with this. One of the fun things about these is each of them on their own is like a really great like one and done type of shadow, you know, maybe with like a little bit of liner or like smudge something. And they are a cream formula that will crease. I don't mind when shadows crease on me. I know that's not works for everybody's lifestyle. This shade, I think is described as like a cool kind of icy gray. I wanna play up that kind of like light blueness. It's still gonna be like kind of like a smoky gray situation. I am gonna use my finger to start out. The brush, it's like a dual ended brush. This side is really great for just like blending out kind of sheer taper, what have you. This side is good for getting more of like a concentrated amount. So I've actually used this side to do like a bit of a liner with it. And I've used other brushes and they, they work fine. I just say in general, this formula, any brush, it's better to blend it out with a brush, but apply with your finger. So it's like here, I'm applying with my finger. So I'm getting like a bunch of payoff. And now I'll go in with a brush, pick up some. And it's just way more sheer. It's like nothing, you know? It's just more of the glitter than the actual pigment. Now I'm gonna blend the crease area with the little brush. 
I'm gonna build up a bit more with my finger towards the inner part. I'm gonna dip in to Yep, and I'm gonna use actually my little pinky. I'm gonna get that more just on the outer V area. So I'm taking a little angled eyeliner brush and I I got it damp and then I'm just dipping into, I'm actually using the Tartlet in Bloom palette. This is just a, as you can tell by all of the little bands in it, my most used, frequently used eyeshadow palette. It has this really nice kind of blend of cool tones so I really like using the darker shades right here. Um, as a bit of liner, so I'm not like trying to do anything perfect. I just want to create a bit of definition, really. Just kind of like makes my eyes look more awake. You know, mascara as well. It's just kind of like something that feels like a little less like alien baby. So now with the the brush and the little tiny end of the brush, I'm dipping back into Yup, and I'm gonna use that. Uh, to kind of like smudge into slash blend out the bit of liner I did. So to play up the the blue aspect a little bit more, I'm taking a navy pencil just from the inner corner to about halfway. I'm gonna do a bit of a line. And now back with the Rowan brush, I'm gonna dip back in to the blue. So I'm just smudging some of the navy along with kind of like a mix going back between those two on part of the lower lash line. So to deepen up this area, I'm going in with a bit of the purple shade. I've got a Q-tip and some Bioderma and I'm just cleaning up. I find with my eye shape that if it goes like too far out of like this sort of line point, it really makes my whole face just kind of fall a bit. It just, yeah, it just makes everything look a bit more tired. So I'm also gonna just take away a little bit in this area. Alrighty, I'm gonna curl my lashes and put on mascara. I'm gonna put on quite a lot of mascara. And just a little tiny bit of Basque right on the inner corner. Oh, I did not put mascara on my lower lashes, so I'm actually gonna use this little mini eye from Charlotte Tilbury. I like big fat wands for the upper lashes, but I reserve smaller wands for the lower lashes. Alrighty, I'm gonna use a bit of this Becca bronzer. This is actually a mix of two bronzers that busted and then I repressed together. It's like this old Tarte blush, blush, bronzer. Uh, it's like Park Avenue. It came in that like leathery metal metallic, uh, magnetic thing, packaging, wow, words. And then uh, my actual Becca bronzer. So it's a little blend of the two. I'm gonna put on lipstick first and then my highlighter and blush. I find that it's easier to make everything a bit more cohesive if I go with lips and eyes first. So I'm gonna just do a little liner I'm gonna use Glossier Play Pony. And then just a little 
lot. Don't want it too shiny since I've got all of the shininess on the eyes. Make it look a little bit more worn in. So for blush, I'm using Incandescent Electra from Hourglass. I normally would use like kind of more like a, I have so much fuzz particles right in there. That is no good. Um, normally I would use like say Marc Jacobs, Flesh and Fantasy or like Glossier Dusk because those are a little bit more like neutral toned and this is a bit more coral. But since it's such like a smoky eye, um, I wanna add a bit more brightness. I'm back to the cheeks. So I think this looks really nice together. And for highlighter, I'm just gonna do a little dab of the Hollywood Flawless Filter again. A little bit more just like dewy creating than any other like color. Just wanna add a bit of illumination. Just kinda did a tiny bit of powdering down. I just have this bit of fuzz on my lips that I cannot locate. All right, I added one more coat of mascara. I just felt like it needed something else. And my nose is perspiring. I tamp that down. But yeah, this is it. This is the look that I did in front of you. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't utilize the Disco Single, but I am showcasing it in a video that I'm working on. Uh, just never ending bits of fuzz. I cannot get gone uh, but the disco single will be showcased in that so if you're curious on how that looks on the eyes um look out for that video okay um i hope you guys enjoyed this video liked this look i'll see you guys in the next one bye